For thousands of years, people of all different cultures around the world have gazed up at the skies and watched the beauty of our Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system, including our sun and all of the planets and objects within it, is just a small part of the Milky Way galaxy. All of the stars that we see in the night sky are part of our galaxy, and when you think of the number of them, it's almost overwhelming. A galaxy is a huge group of gas, stars, dust, and rocks that are held together through gravity. Galaxies come in a lot of shapes and sizes, and our Milky Way is called a large barred spiral galaxy. If you look up at night, you can see the milky band of light that crosses the sky. Scientists have had a major challenge in attempting to count the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. The problem is that Earth and our solar system is located on one of the outer arms and we can't get a really good view. We are 25,000 light years from the galaxy center and the best estimate that they can come up with is around 100 billion stars. The stars are part of a large disk that has a diameter of 100,000 light years. Astronomers have used telescopes as well as mathematic calculations to analyze the Milky Way galaxy. One of the clues about the shape of the galaxy happens when astronomers map the bright young stars along with the ionized hydrogen that's in the disk of the Milky Way. They call these clouds the high regions and they are caused by the ionization of the hot new stars that have little or no protons and electrons. They have noted that the major arms of our galaxy seem to contain the most old and young stars and the minor arms seem to be filled with the kind of gas and dust that is needed to make new stars. Our sun exists in a smaller, partial arm that is called the Orion arm or Orion spur. It along with our solar system is positioned between the Perseus and Sagittarius arms. The study of our Milky Way galaxy has allowed scientists to understand that the universe contains billions of other galaxies. However, other than our own Milky Way, there are only three other galaxies that we can see as fuzzy images without a telescope. When in Earth's southern hemisphere, astronomers can see the small and large Magellanic clouds which are considered to be satellite galaxies of the Milky Way. Scientists have to configure the speed of galaxies based on respect to the cosmic wave background radiation. Our Milky Way galaxy is speeding through space at around 343 me 552 km per second. We have a supermassive black hole at the central core of the Milky Way galaxy that is named Sagittarius A. They believe the central core area has around 4.3 million suns. Not that long after the Big Bang, the Milky Way galaxy started to form from a series of dense regions. It's believed that globular clusters that exist today was the area where the first stars began. These are considered to be some of the oldest stars within the Milky Way. The Milky Way galaxy's gas, stars, and dust orbit around the center of the galaxy at around 220 km per second. The Milky Way is currently growing by getting stars from a little galaxy that's really close to us called the Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal and some of the Magellanic Clouds material. If you want to see more videos, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.